In today's video, I'm going to be going through a bunch of new leaked information for Black Ops Cold War Zombies DLC 2, the release date for the update, some new updates in terms of field upgrades, new bosses in the game, and all cool stuff like that, some updates on the Outbreak Zombies game mode, the new event coming very soon, when we're going to see that release into the game. Yesterday's video, I went through a ton of new leaks for this new Outbreak mode in Cold War Zombies. If you want to check that video out, a ton of information, the link will be at the top of the description down below. Be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new very quickly before we get started today's video is actually kindly sponsored by dgzgold.com they offer cheap fast and reliable call of duty recovery services for black ops cold war even past call of duties if you need help with dark matter max prestige etc this is a great place to get it done they also offer services from other games outside of call of duty and you can save five percent off with code matters the link is down below in the description let's get started here with the release date for black Black Ops Cold War Zombies Season 2. Now, this is actually from DK Dynamite, so big shout out to him. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. But apparently, on the PS4 menu, if you go to Black Ops Cold War and you look at the events tab, there was a new event that was created when Firebase C first released Thursday, February 4th, and it ends for some reason on April 2nd at 7 p.m. So, why is this event here? Why is it ending on April 2nd? Is this signifying the end? End of Firebase Z and then the beginning of a new zombies map in this game. Is this going to be the release date for the new outbreak mode? It's a very interesting time here because it actually makes a ton of sense. This would match up almost perfectly with the release date for Firebase Z. Firebase Z released Thursday, February 4th. It was after the mid season one update, but before season one ended. And April 2nd pretty much brings us into the middle to end portion of Season 2. That would mean that for all of the DLC maps for Cold War Zombies, they're going to be releasing towards the end of all of these seasons, which I'm fine with. I don't mind starting off the season with new multiplayer Warzone content and ending the season with some new Zombies content. That's a pretty good mix there, and I feel like they're going to continue that schedule. So again, if April 2nd actually ends up being the release date for the new Zombies map or the new Outbreak mode in Season 2, that would make Make perfect sense now here's the thing what exactly are we getting in the middle of season two or the end of season two on april 2nd is it going to be a normal dlc zombies map is it going to be the berlin map most likely the euro mountains map in season two we know we're getting this euro mountains outbreak mode slash event but is that the only thing we're going to see throughout season two i think most likely we're pretty much only going to get the outbreak event we're not going to get a new you know normal zombies map release and you guys can leave your comments down below would you rather see the outbreak mode or a normal zombies map release I think again season three will get a normal DLC map but for now for season two we'll enjoy this new open world zombies experience and some more stuff here for the outbreak zombies event modern warzone tweeted out the new zombie trials machine only appear in warzone rumble assuming that a zombie related game mode will be replacing warzone rumble soon they most likely needed to test some of the assets before launching it which is why machines are continuing to appear in verdansk and we have another trial machine here appearing in the stadium of verdansk in warzone so it's going to be super cool to see what exactly we get to do in warzone that is relating to this new outbreak of zombies game mode and again a lot of people are saying these are just glitches here they're definitely preparing a bunch of new teasers or maybe a specific zombie related game mode related to outbreak in warzone very soon i'll be sure to update you guys as we get more and more information on this new zombies event and there's something else here that modern warzone tweeted out which is super interesting lightning spotted in warzone a dark cloud has been spotted looming over verdansk and this player managed to capture a clip of lightning coming from it so super interesting here again this seems like it's relating to this new zombies playlist in warzone that will be teasing the new outbreak zombies event in black ops cold war i would assume this is for that maybe it is some other separate warzone event that has to do with a thunderstorm coming through but it seems like something we saw with haunting of verdansk storm clouds in the warzone sky I would think they would do the same thing here for the new Outbreak Zombies game mode in Warzone, but let me know down below what do you think this could be in the game. I think it's clearly relating to something zombies, but you never know. Could be something different. Moving ahead to some more Season 2 zombies leaked information here. Nanakos tweeted this out. ZM, tiered item, Frenzied Guard. And here's a description. Frenzied Guard is a field upgrade coming to the game. Draw nearby zombies to the player. And we also have frenzied guard a bunch of different lines of code found in the game in cold war zombies 
for this field upgrade. I've talked about this before. This has been a field upgrade that has been leaked out for several months now, and we're getting more information on it. And it looks like this is going to be the first new DLC field upgrade coming to the game. A lot of people aren't too excited about this here because it seems like a very simple thing. I just feel like there could be better field upgrade abilities in this game. I definitely want to do a video going back to a bunch of the old Black Ops 3 Gobblegum abilities and see if there are any good ones that we could bring over into Cold War Zombies in the form of new field upgrades and new field upgrade tiers 1, 2, and 3. And leave your comments down below. For Frenzied Guard, what do you think the tier will be for this field upgrade as well it seems very interesting i don't know how you expand upon bringing zombies towards a player but let me know down below that seems like this is going to be the new field upgrade for season two so we'll just have to see exactly how it actually works in the game and maybe these leaks are slightly off and maybe it'll actually do something different once Treyarch officially reveals and releases this field upgrade. Naticos also goes through a bunch of new stuff here with a new boss in the game in Zombies. Well, I thought this guy was going to be the boss. Guess I was wrong on that one. Has to be like a friendly mangler side easter egg or something. Definitely still more to find on Firebase Z. And he has this model here of a different type of zombie boss. Kind of similar to the Russian mangler in the game. And this reminds me of what we saw back before Black Ops Cold War Zombies first release. There are a bunch of different files in the actual game of certain bosses, certain weapons that were supposed to be in D Machina that ended up not being in D Machina. The perks were there as well. And once D Machina released, we all thought, you know what? All of these other leaks were just cut content, content that they wanted to add to D Machina, but they decided for whatever reason to cut it from the map. They cut, you know, the Ray Rifle, a bunch of different zombie bosses, the different perks in the game, a bunch of other just side quest stuff in zombies, all little features in zombies that they cut from D Machina. But some of them we actually ended up seeing in Firebase Z, most notably the Ray Rifle. I mean, the Ray K is pretty much what the Ray Rifle was in the code, and there's no way there's going to be another version of the Ray K also called the Ray Rifle in the game. That'd be pretty funny if they add the Ray K and the Ray Rifle in Cold War Zombies. But for this case here, this boss zombie could be another zombie that we end up seeing in the new zombies map in the future. I mean, they could easily take these assets back from Cold War Zombies, from what we had in the pre-alpha, alpha files, bring it over to the other seasons for this new game. This could still be something that we try to figure out in Firebase Z as well. Another version, a friendly version of the Russian Mangler in Firebase Z. So we really don't know yet. That's the thing with these leaks here. Sometimes you get the information, but you don't know how Treyarch is actually going to use this information and use the assets that people find. People leak stuff out. Out. They find assets for all different stuff. I mean, there are leaks in Black Ops Cold War containing assets from Black Ops 4, Extinction, like just crazy stuff. And we just don't know how Treyarch is using these assets. So that's always the main unknown factor about this stuff here. But it's definitely really cool to see the stuff that Treyarch has in the code and what we may see in the future. We talked about before the Panzer sold at with jetpacks attached to them, like all crazy stuff in the code that we may very well see in some type of way in future Cold War Zombies DLC maps. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want me to talk more about Season 2 Zombies, what we're going to be seeing, any theories you guys have, any ideas, leave those comments down below. Leave a comment down below Season 2 or DLC 2. If you watched the entire video, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.